Hey guys, it's Lucas from iExplore and I am now in Shinjuku and we are here to get some nice panning shots uh, of cars on the streets. The concept is simple. It's basically a car comes along, we follow it with our camera and we shoot the photo right in the moment of, of this panning motion. We get a blurry background and the car is sharp. Very simple in theory, a little bit tricky to do in practice. The settings need to be right and then the actual technique can be can be a little bit difficult sometimes. All right, so we're here in this spot in the middle of Shinjuku and we're gonna get these panning shots of the taxis going by. So we need to do two main settings, two things we need to set. Of course, first our exposure and, and then we're gonna talk about autofocus, okay? So with the exposure, because we're doing this whipping around panning shot, there's going to be, you know, bright stuff, dark stuff, you know, the, the exposure is going to be all over the place. It really makes most sense to do this in fully manual exposure. Um, that way you will get a consistent exposure every single time and you can have control over all three parts of the exposure triangle as it is. So we are going to set first our shutter speed. And the reason for that is that is the main thing that is allowing us to get this nice panned, blurred background with the sharp, you know, uh, car in the foreground. And the shutter speed that I find works for this is a 30th of a second up to maybe a 60th of a second. I think over a 60th, it will not be blurred enough. And under a 30th, it might be a little bit out of focus or blurred a little too much. It'll be a little bit soft. Somewhere in there is a sweet spot between a 30th of a second and a 60th of a second. But of course, you'll figure out what exactly works for you in your particular situation. The next thing we're gonna set is the aperture. Now, we could go for a big wide open aperture or something like that, but it's better to go for f5.6 or so, maybe a 4. I'm going to go 5.6 in this case because I want a little more depth of field. That's going to make the autofocus a little more forgiving. If the autofocus doesn't quite nail it, it'll still be a sharp photo. So 30th of a second, f5.6, and then in this light, to get the exposure right, 800 ISO. Okay, and that's just with the ISO that was necessary for that particular scene, it's going to be different wherever you're shooting these kind of photos. So that's exposure. Now we've got to talk about autofocus. Now you could do this on manual focus. You could focus to a particular distance in front of you and then, you know, hope that the cars are always in the right spot. I've tried it this way. It does work, but I find it easier with autofocus. Uh, even a, these days, even a half decent camera should have some kind of tracking focus feature, often called AFC, autofocus continuous on many cameras. I do know that on Canon, this is called AI servo. And when you set it to that, what happens is as you, you know, move the camera around, point it at different objects, or if the objects in the scene are moving, the camera will continue to focus you know, in and out on those objects as they get closer or move around the scene. The next thing we need to talk about is the actual technique. So what you're gonna do, as the car comes in, you're gonna focus on it, you're gonna start focusing. And whether that means using the, uh, the shutter button or the back button, which you guys know I like, got a whole nother video on that. Either way, you're going to focus on the car. So as you focus and the car comes in, the camera should continuously adjust the focus. And as the car gets closer and closer, it'll, it'll keep sharp. And then you shoot when the car is right in front of you. So if, if it's the kind of a motion, it sort of comes in an arc. You don't want to shoot when it's coming in or when it's leaving. You want to shoot where it's dead in front of you. And that'll give you this really nice horizontal blur in front of, you know, in behind the uh, taxi or the car or whatever you're shooting. And ideally, if the autofocus did its job well, you get a nice sharp uh, car right in the foreground. And that's it. It's very simple in theory, but a little bit tricky in practice. So you got to practice, practice, practice. You're going to come back with a lot of bad shots. Stuff's going to be out of focus, going to be crooked. Timing's going to be wrong. You just try and try and try, and you will get some gems out of it. In fact, you should get some shots just like the ones you can see here right now on the screen. Some of these are by me while other ones are by Charles, who is another photographer at iExplore, who does a great job teaching this technique on our Tokyo by Night and other workshops. So guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, you know, standard YouTube protocol, do it. And um, also please leave comments uh, below with any questions. We love questions that we'll be happy to answer them. And also any ideas for future videos. Do you have anything else that you want us to cover? Any techniques or anything at all like that? And we will try to make videos about it in the future. So thanks for watching today and I'll see you next time.